Hey, welcome back to the Zombie Tactics channel. Trying to get back into it following my move and brief hiatus. Uh, more videos are on the way, so stay tuned. Rumors of my demise are extremely exaggerated. <laughs> About three weeks ago, uh, maybe a little bit more, it seems like it's three weeks or more ago, a company called Holster Tech, a representative of that company, contacted me and said, hey, we've got some interesting holster designs. We'd like you to take a look at them. We'd just like your feedback on them. I said, hey, not only would I give you my feedback on them, I'll do a video on them. If I like them, I like them. If I hate them, I hate them. You know, what the heck? Who am I to turn down somebody sending me a holster and trying it down out? And, uh, you know, some of the stuff that I saw online looked pretty decent. And they sent me this which is uh, a model that they make called the Homeland uh, Interceptor. Pretty sure I got that right. If I've got it wrong, I'll put that in the annotations. I'm going from memory here. But there's the Holster Tech logo. And they're based out of Finland, of all cases. So they shipped the holster to me. And for some reason, it took forever to get through customs. And uh, here it is. Let's take a look at the design. We'll go to the tabletop and see what we've got here. Well, here it is, and I think I'm getting reasonably good detail with the camera here. The lighting's turning out pretty good out here in the game room. And, uh, you know, what does it look like? It looks like a pretty typical holster, right? Uh, there's your belt loops for this mount, which is designed to go what on your belt. This is, by the way, a low-profile concealed carry holster, if that's not obvious. And, of course, here's the pouch for the pistol, which in this case is a Glock 22. I'm sure it would fit a 19 or a uh, 17 just fine. It would probably fit a Glock 23 just fine as well. It would probably fit a Glock 26 or 27, although it would kind of get to get weird by the time you start getting down to sort of the more compact or subcompact Glocks. It is a retention holster, and so I'm going to kind of shake it up and down here a little bit and show you what I found out, which is A, there's hardly any rattle on this. It fits in there really nicely, and you cannot get this sucker to come out of there. Believe me, I've put some significant force on trying to get this out of here, and it, it's not going anywhere. The way the retention mechanism works is really interesting. Um, this is a sort of a molded, reinforced uh, fiberglass affair, and this side sort of pedal, I don't know what to call it, is actually the release for the pistol. And as a part of a normal draw, when you come down on the pistol like this and get your master grip, it'll come right out with zero effort. At the point in time that this release is uh, disengaged, there is no natural or, uh, or passive retention in this holster. It comes right out very smoothly. And of course, the minute you put it back in and flip that back, again, it's not going anywhere. So it's a very natural uh, kind of a, a thing to use. You know, you go to get a grip on the pistol, and it comes out. There's no if ands or buts about this. I've been working a little bit on it and it just it, it seems like a pretty sturdy little design. Now um, as you'll see in some video I'll cut in here it does kind of ride up high uh, on my belt a little higher than I'm used to for a um, concealed carry pistol which is its intended design uh, but you can you can do a lot of things with that. Uh, you, you'll notice that there's these kind of uh, serrations or whatever you call them uh, locking grooves that go together and that's because with a simple Allen wrench, you can move this to any kind of a canted position that you might like uh, when you're wearing this holster. So if you want to go for more of a slightly forward cant or a rearward cant or the FBI cant, anything like that, it, it, it'll work pretty well. So the pistol I like uh, to be mounted in more of a straight up and up and down type of style as opposed to any kind of a cant or you know, all around the back or anything like that. And so under concealment, you have this probably under a coat. I think it works best under an overcoat or um, some kind of a sweater or a sports jacket or something like that. At least for me, I could not wear, um, I don't know, just a t-shirt over this and not have it print. Now, that's not to say it's not a good uh, slim design. You can see that it kind of rides pretty close to the body here. And again, the normal action of pulling up a, a garment, going down, getting the pistol, did that look like there was any give on that at all? I don't think so. Let's do this again. Flip that forward again. It's not coming out unless you get a massive grip, and then the pistol is straight out. There is no effort in that at all. And I kind of like that. Um, I kind of like the fact that there isn't any secondary or passive retention, particularly because the locking mechanism works so well in the first place. So again, if I was sweeping the jacket aside, coming in here, any kind of forward pressure on that little paddle 
disengages the lock and the gun is going to come right out every time without tail. And I've been, I don't know, probably got 200, 300 practice, ah, that's the first time, 200, 300 times that I've been working with this and they haven't had any problems with it until just that little one right there and I think that's probably just because I didn't grasp the gun correctly and firmly. But I mean, anytime you get a, a real grip on that gun, it's coming out. And one of the things that's kind of nice about this, I know some of you complained about the Serpa having your finger in a position where it would draw and potentially go inside the trigger group. You know my feeling on that. I think that's a training issue, not a, not a holster issue. But of course, you've got nothing here that's going to do that. So, you know, if you like that, that's fine. You also don't have to do something that I think is unnatural, which is like press a, a thumb button or something like that, something that with recent example we could find out might get in the way and it might cause you to take the safety off of something like a 1911 style pistol prematurely. So that's got that going for it too. Again, you get a master grip on that pistol, look at that, it's just every time like clockwork, not a problem. Boom. I think it's a pretty good design. Uh, let's consider this a uh, preliminary review of this holster. I'm going to be working with it over the next few months. I'm going to work with it a little bit just in dry practice and then also I'll take it to some courses and I'll come back with a uh, perhaps a more fully fleshed out opinion of the Holster Tech Homeland Interceptor holster. Concealment holster I should say. That's Zombie Tactics for today and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.